Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. During the season of Lent, our congregation has been exploring uh, the question that Jesus asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? Uh, each week we talk about one of the different roles that Jesus plays during his ministry in his lifetime. This past Sunday, we talked about Jesus as healer. This coming Sunday, we're talking about Jesus as miracle worker, in particular, in the raising of Lazarus. Now, whenever we talk about healing or miracles that Jesus performs, we need to remember that the Gospels refer to those as signs, signs of the kingdom of God. What that means is that they are signs pointing us in a different direction. That's what signs do. They say, go over there, look that way. Miracles and healings are ways of God validating that what Jesus is teaching us about the nature of God, about what God desires of us, the kind of people we're supposed to be. The signs of healing and miracles validate his teaching. And so when we explore miracles, we're not doing so as a way to try to convince God to perform a miracle when I want it, to come into my life the way I desire you to. What we're doing is looking for ways that those signs, the miracles, point us to the greater reality that Jesus Christ really does represent God, that Jesus Christ really does teach us what God wants for our lives. And in his death and resurrection, the greatest of the signs validating his ministry is supposed to open our eyes to the recognition that this is not just another great teacher. This is not even a great prophet. This is the risen Lord. This is the man who can teach us how to live and so we need to open our lives all the more during this Lenten season so we can have the power of that resurrection flood into our lives on Easter morning. So I hope you come and join us this Sunday as we explore the miracles of Jesus Christ.